Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ocean Block. Um, we are back, we are ocean blocking, as per usual. Um, and there's a few things I want to do this episode. I, I have a little bit of a plan. Um, so, obviously I kind of want this to be fully automated. I don't want to have to touch this. I want this to just do its own thing. That includes um, the water aspect, which I actually haven't looked into. Um, but it also includes getting the cobblestone into this chest, which will then be crushed into uh, gravel and then, you know, processed. So, so, how do we get cobble? Um, well, we could set up a normal cobble gem. We could set up some sort of, like, block breaker or something. I assume there's one. Yeah, there's, like, a block breaker. Th that's not what we're going to do. In this pack, we have this guy. Cobble gen tier 1 from Cobble for Days. Let's check out the Cobble for Days mod. Here we go. There's just a few ones. Five different tiers. The first one is, honestly, quite easy to make. We're going to need two buckets. One of water, one of uh, lava. We'll need some logs for the corners. Um, compressed cobble and glass. This guy then, I, I had a look to see what like the next tier would cost to see if it's better. You actually upgrade it itself. So you put it into a casting basin and you pour seared stone over, over it and you get a tier 2 one. So I assume that would generate more cobble. Then if we look at the next tier, you've got to put it in a tempered glass jar with some other stuff. Some compressed stone and cut. Like, I like this. I like the fact that we have to um, upgrade this guy doing all these crazy different um, combinations of things. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so... We can probably do the first step. Um, I know for a fact one of these recipes creates lava. Um, somewhere. Here it is. Uh, just cobblestone. Cobblestone in here creates a bucket of lava. So that's perfect. That's what we want. Um, so I guess we'll we'll do that. How much cobble was it? Was it just one piece of cobble? Um, it was, apparently. So I'll press start on that. And, ooh, two minutes it's going to take. Okay, good thing, we, uh, <laughs> good thing we started that now. So that'll take two minutes and we'll get a... A little bit of lava. Um, we're going to need, you know, buckets and stuff. So what I should probably do... Um, oh, actually, six nuggets in there. We have three nuggets on us. That's enough for a ingot worth, right? Then if I take this out, I don't want to do an ingot. What I want to do instead is create a, a nugget cast, like so. So now in the future, when we only have nuggets worth, we can actually take them out. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I'm going to chuck in the iron... Um, we've probably got a bunch more in here. Yum, of course we do. Um, in terms of actual ingots we have, you know what? Let's, let's do what we should have done a long time ago. <laughs> let's build a chest for all of our, like, um, all of our created goods, I guess we'll say. So, this guy is going to have our iron, our redstone, all of this sort of stuff. I, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, we're going to place our ingot cast there. I would like to automate this, but... We're gonna need we're gonna need to do that later because we we sort of need all the resources that we would use to automate this. Um, but I definitely you know it's it's on the list. Um, my my main goal though, to, just to to recap, is I want to set up this guy to be automated. That way we can do some exploring, right? And on top of that, we need to actually be getting more of this um more of this titanium. We actually have a little bit though. Hmm. Four bits of titanium. How much did I need for say the suit? We need that many legs. Okay. We, we still need more, but at least we're, we're getting them. Um, what else was I saying? We really need, what, uh, six bits of iron, I think? Right? For the um, two buckets? Yeah. Alright, this is our last iron that we need, for this recipe at least. Um, I'm also going to need to create another d -d 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 piece of um, sand, because we need some dust. Oh, we've got some sand right here. Don't mind if I do. We might... We might pick all that up later, possibly. Um, I'm going to chuck this in here. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to uh, smelt up. I'm also going to craft our two buckets. So, here we go. Da -da -da. One of these buckets will be a bucket of lava, which I don't actually know how to take out of here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Right-click on a tank to empty the container. Can I put it into a bucket? So, we actually got a little container here. Um, ow. Uh, can I possibly place it in the ground? Can I do this? No. Hmm. We're in a bit of a predicament. Um, I don't know how to get this stuff out. Shift, right click, right click. It says right click on a tank. Am I going to have to make a tank? Really? Um, what sort of tank can we make? We can make a basic one with iron and redstone. I probably don't want to do that. A singularity tank is going to be iron and glass. Okay. Um, a seared tank? Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. We can do a... um. A seared fuel tank. That's going to be one glass and some seared bricks. That is a lot easier to do. Um, so I'm going to pick up another one of these. I'll get that smelting. And we'll turn the other piece of glass we have, this one here, into a seared tank so that we can get that out of the way. So it will be eight, I believe, uh, seared ingots. Seared, uh, yeah, seared bricks. That's what they're called. Glass in the middle. 
all of these around. We will be using this as well, so it's good to craft it now, for the actual smeltery that we build, um, whenever we happen to do that. So, for now, I, I guess I can just sit there. We're going to put in our fluid container. There it is. We can then take it out in a bucket. There we go. We get the achievement. Beautiful. Is it a quest as well? Oh, we've actually done quite a few here. Let's, um... You know what? Let's get some rewards. Why, why, why shouldn't we? A mob imprisonment tool. That'll come in handy. Um, we can pick up mobs with that. Sort of like a Pokeball. Um, cast iron gives us some more cast iron. This guy's going to give us some... Oh, hold on. You can use tubes to connect chests and jars. Oh, I could have put it in a jar. I could have put the lava in a jar. Oh, okay. So, th so these are cast iron tubes. They're literally like... They're pipes. Um, they can only connect to the top of jars. Um, you can use tubes to connect chests and jars to pull resources out of. Especially useful for fluids. Hey, it pipe down, will you? Okay, hold on, hold on. So this guy can probably make water, can't he? Let's go look through here. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. I think I understand. Maybe. I think what that recipe was showing, or what that example was showing, was that... Um, where was that? That was in here. Um, you can take lava and water out, put it into here... And then that will create a, um, like, a cobble gen, essentially. I, I believe that's what that was saying, I think. But that's interesting. So we can, yeah, we can do some automation. Okay. Th th that opens a door. <laughs> that opens a door. Okay. Uh, tempered glass jar. Um, mix harden, smelt items, blah, blah, blah. On the left panel, you see what item slash fluid the jar um, sees as available on the network, as well as your own inventory. So, you, oh, it shows you the whole network. So, all the different containers you connect um, with the tubes, I think. That's really cool. Um, in the top setting, you see the currently selected recipe. And if applicable, it's process as well as controls to start and stop it. Um, at the bottom is the recipe selection area. If the recipe is grayed out, it means you do not have the right heat source below the jar. Okay. Um, let's get our random reward. Absorption hopper. Ooh. I have a feeling that's going to be extremely useful. Th this guy picks up items that you drop on the ground and puts it in a chest. So... We could use it, if we were to set up multiple sluices, we wouldn't have to put a hopper underneath each and every one. We could use one absorption hopper to pick up everything. That's good to know. It would also pick up stuff from the jar if we didn't want to uh, pipe it up or anything. Okay. I should have been reading these quests. Um, we've got the lava bucket. If you haven't seen already, check out the jar recipe to make lava. Yep, there we go. We got a slime wood sledgehammer. Okay. All right. Um... And it's generating its over slime. You can see that value going passively up. I think we can place it in here to read exactly what that means. Um, over slime. Tool consumes over slime instead of durability until it runs out. Not friendly towards tools lacking slime. Um, okay. Uh, tool slowly grows over slime. Beautiful. So it, it's essentially growing its own durability. That's what the over slime is. It's essentially durability we can use. That's a chicken. Um, <laughs> die foul creature. Undead fear the might of the melon. Oh, okay, so I guess I extra damage to the undead. Beautiful. That, that's actually a pretty good weapon. Um, not as good as our Paxil, I think, but it's, it's pretty cool. Um, another thing about the Sledgehammer, while we've got it here, it mines a 3x3, three three, as you can see there. So, where was my actual mine? I had a little... I did have a little area I was going in. Yeah, down here. Um, what I can do is I can... It's a bit slow, but it does mine a 3x3, three three, um, if you aim it correctly. See? Mining a 3x3... Three Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. I, I like it. Alright, was that all the quests? It was not. We actually have an exploration quest. Oh, for breaking the barrels. Okay. Let's see. Um, random reward. Energizing rods. Oh. Okay. And that completed another quest. Sure. Yep. Um, the other barrel here. What's this guy going to give us? A smeltery controller. Oh. <laughs> we're actually we're just building a smeltery right now. Okay. Um, let's move this guy. Um, where should I put my smeltery? I mean... I don't really know what we're going for here. I don't really know how any of this is going to look. I guess I'm just going to probably slap it down here. I, I guess. Um, does that sound good? Maybe? Uh, change of plans. I cleared out a little bit of an area here. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll place it sort of like here. So we'll place uh, this, the controller there. And we'll just place a tank next to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that bridge when we get to it. Um, what other quests do we have now? We got the power quest. So we get an energizing rod, which will give us a random reward. A flux core. Okay, yeah. Sure, why not? Um, what's in miscellaneous? Which I can't appear to select easily. There we go. Um, an iron wand. A random reward. We get a flux block. Okay, sure. Nice. We can... How much does a, a flux... I mean, we can't even use a flux network, but how much would like a flux point cost? Um, a block of redstone, and then I could make a plug already with the flux block. 
Oh, okay. All we need is what? Yeah. I mean, once we have power set up, that's that's perfect. Let's chuck that stuff in here, I guess. <laughs> um, bunch of junk in there. Okay. Where were we up to? Um. I think we're pretty much done, right? Because we have this glass made, we have the cobble on us, all I need is a bucket of water, which we can grab from there. I can now open this guy up, and we can create... Oh, it's compressed cobble, sorry. We're going to need two blocks of this, so one, two. And here we go. Cobble gen tier one, and we get our buckets back. I think I left them in there. Two buckets, beautiful. Um, so this guy, I think I might even be able to just place him on top of the chest there, and I think he'll create um, cobble for us. I believe that's how this works. Um, as for how long it will take to do that, I I don't know. I'm also feeling like it's not working already. Um, I wonder, how long do you think it actually takes, though? Because it's only a tier 1, so it shouldn't be too crazy. But it also shouldn't be useless. Also, why is this taking so long? Do I need a better tool? I don't think so. Alright, what if I just place it next to it? So what if we place it there? Is that going to do it? It's possible I need to set up, like, some tubing or some piping, which, I mean, we can do that. Let's see if this works. Is this going <laughs> to... Does that do anything? Um, can we right-click? What can, I, what can we do here? Can we shift right-click? Oh, shift right-click uh, removes the connection. And then we can... Oh, I'm making a lot of messes. Huh. I've... Oh, no, there we go. How do I reconnect the bottom part? <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, okay. Alright, the cobble gem was a quest as well. Makes one cobblestone every 40 ticks. So I believe that's every two seconds. So I don't think it's... And we got a tank. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't think it's currently, like, working properly. Because th this should be working. It should be creating cobblestone every two seconds. Which, I mean, I assume it's doing. I don't know how to get the cobblestone out of it. Um, do you reckon I need to place a chest on top? Maybe. We'll do, how about we try that one? So I'll, This thing takes forever to break as well. What, what, what a nightmare. Okay, now it's working. Look, that's processing. Every two seconds we get a bit of cobble. Um, and beautiful. It looks like it actually keeps up. In fact, it generates more cobble than this uh, iron auto hammer even uses. So this guy is now automated. This is working. This will work. No. Well, we will need more water. How do I address the water problem? What do I... Hmm... I'd really like to do that before we, like, run out in the world. Um, pump. Do, 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 do. Manual pump. Can this guy be upgraded? FTB sluice. Was there any other alternatives in FTB sluice um, for the pumping? Water pump, iron hammers, auto hammers. Not really looking like it, is it? Oh, you know what? Maybe the dripper. Can we, like, drip into a bucket? <laughs> Maybe not, then. Uh, hmm. The dripper does appear to do some cool things. Like, we can drip onto compressed stone and get ores. That That's pretty cool. That seems automatable. Um, I do actually really like that. Okay. Um, no real water, though. I, I still don't really know how I'm going to get water. I, I've been looking around, though. I, I guess I'll keep looking. Oh, check out this. Um, the jar auto-processing block will keep starting the crafting of the selected recipe in the tempered jar until it runs out of available resources, making it useful for tool... Making it a useful tool for automation. Um, okay. I, I I mean, I like that, but my problem is this doesn't really make what I want it to. Like, ideally, I need water, and I don't know how to make water. I still don't know. But, I mean, we could automate lava. We could automate a few different things here. Um, relatively easily. Okay, okay. L let me keep looking. Okay, okay. I, I have found something. Uh, th there's not a lot of options that I could find. I... It's it's been rough. It's it's definitely been rough. I, I there are sinks, but they're not the normal sinks that I'm used to, so I don't even think that they'll generate water like the sinks in our other mod packs do. Let me know if they do and I can try those. Otherwise, there's not really much I can find. Um what I did find there was this guy. A water condensant a uh, uh, water condensator. Condensator? <laughs> I'm not I'm not entirely sure how you want to pronounce this one. Um but I imagine this does what we want it to. Yep, it just creates water. It will need some iron, that we can do. This guy will need cast iron and logs and redstone. Like, it's doable. It'll take us a little while, but it's doable. This again, redstone, iron, and... I mean, yeah, then there's plastic. This might be the hard part. Uh, that'll be dry rubber, tiny dry rubber, latex processing. <sighs> latex processing, which will need, like, a um, fluid extractor. 
at this point, it's pretty rough. Like, it's a lot of effort just to get water. You know what I mean? Um, the other option is using a pump. I'm thinking like a mechanism pump might be the way to go. What does this guy cost? Iron, copper. Uh, honestly, maybe an immersive engineering fluid pump. This doesn't seem too bad. But yeah, there's not a lot. Or at least I couldn't find any. Um, both of these will require some sort of power generation as well, which is a little bit rough. Uh, steel casing, steel, structural glass. That's going to be cast iron. Ugh. Not easy. And this guy needs an infuser. Honestly, this... um. This fluid pump from Immersive Engineering, we might have to go with this. I, I don't even know how it works, but... Ah, I don't know. It, it, it seems like the most viable. You know, it's quite ironic that we're surrounded by water, and yet it's the hardest thing for me to uh, get a hold of. Hmm. I've, I'm really, like, trying to think, like, of how we can maybe, like, find a loophole to get it. Like, fluid pipes, sadly, I don't think they extract from water. Like, I think you need to specifically have it come from some other liquid holding device. Um, we don't even have cyclic fluid pipes. Um, those ones you could extract from water. I do recall doing that. Um, we could try integrated dynamics. I don't know if integrated dynamics can pipe or, like, pump. Um, but we could definitely try. It's, I mean, well, at least we could see if we could try. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say we could definitely try. What is this? Fluidic Plenisher. Hold shift and N. Wait, let me press enter. Um, a machine that is capable of creating entire lakes by filling ravines with fluids. That's actually really cool. I, I like the sound of that. Um, sadly, it's not what we're after. Um, okay, I'll, I'll have another quick look through here. Uh, but it's not looking too good. Okay, okay. Um, there's a few interesting options <laughs> that, that I've now discovered. Uh, what I think we could do is I, I found this guy from uh, Integrated Tunnels. Pick up fluids from the world. I mean, I mean, that sounds pretty good. It sounds like it'll do what we want it to. Um, for that, you need a logic director, which needs crystallized chorus chunks, which you essentially get from chorus fruit. Now, how do you get chorus fruit? You get it from crushing endstone. How do you get endstone? You get that from glowstone and lava in a tempered glass jar. Okay, you're like, yeah, get you. how do you get lava? How do you get um, glowstone? Sorry, glowstone you get from netherrack. How do you get netherrack? You get it from redstone in a tempered jar. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty rough. There must be an easy way to do it that I'm missing. Either that or, like, that's the whole point of this pack is that it's, like, very difficult to get your hands on some water. Um, <sighs> okay, honestly, I, I don't really know what my plan is now. What I, what I might do is I'll right-click this a bunch. I might go exploring again just to, I don't know, try and hopefully find some loot because a lot of this stuff you can actually just find from our loot chest and stuff. Um, we don't yet have enough titanium to make a full set of, uh, diving gear. On top of that, we need to get our hands on some fiber mesh, which is kelp. Um, I don't think we have any kelp, like, right next to us. In fact, I feel like I don't even see any kelp, which could be a problem. Um, let's check real quick kelp. Can we get kelp from any... Oh, oh no. Okay, I could item recycle my diving mask to get kelp grow the kelp, and make more. That's looking like that's probably what we'll end up doing. Ugh, item recycler. That's a lot of iron. Or we have to get our hands on some kelp. Uh, <laughs> damn, this is this is quite difficult. This is not as easy as I had have hoped. Um, I'll tell you what. Oh, look at that little dungeon down there. Um, I'm going to go exploring. I was also told, I believe on the um, the big islands we've checked, up on the roof, there's a sp supposedly a barrel. So we do need to go check those out. There's our island. I might up the render distance a bit just while we're exploring so that like we can actually see these things that are far away. Um, I didn't clear my inventory. I was told... Oh, yep. Oh, oh, let me out of the water. Um, you can actually shift right-click and open an inventory on the boat itself. That's pretty cool. I, I like that. Um, let's head back over here and check the roof, and then we'll head to that one and check its roof. I don't know if it's, like, on the top of the roof, or it's, or if it's, um, you know, on, like, the ceiling. Like, I, I, I don't really know. Um, I still hear, like, a bad mob here, but I don't know where. Oh, that's where. There is, um, there's some people up there. Oh, oh, I don't like the lag, but it's fine. Alright, almost blew myself up. That's... 
that's perfectly fine. We can see the horrible structure down there that looks very scary. Um, let's continue on with our way. Do you think we could somehow... Ooh! Oh, I, I sort of have an idea, but I don't think we're on the right version. Do we have dripstone? Or, um, or stalactites? We don't, do we? Mmm, <clears throat> damn. I was going to say, we could use a cauldron and a dripper. And we could, uh, get water that way. Because that's a thing that exists. Um, uh, that, does that help me? Oh, there's also, yeah, a crate up there. Um, I think if it's in a cauldron, we can pipe out of a cauldron. That's, that's my understanding. What did we just get? A mob soul? Uh, okay, maybe we got hay bales. I'm not entirely sure what we got. Um, I don't see another chest. I might go up onto the roof, though. Uh, just to, you know, double check. Should we... Yeah, we'll just dig through here. Make a staircase on the roof. Why not? Alright, we are up the top. Um, I do not see one. It's possible it was the one that we got in the rafters just then. Like, that crate we got. I, I, I'm going to guess that that was it. So, let's see if we can jump off entirely. Oh, I should have checked uh, that other little lower balcony there. I, I, I think we're fine. I think we got what we wanted. Um, so, we'll head over here. I'll check that same little, like, rafter area to see if there's a, a barrel there. Um, and then we'll, I, I don't know, just go in a random direction. Alright, we are up, and sure enough, there is a white barrel up here. Go ahead and break that. Break this guy. Open that up. What did we get? Um, hmm. Stone? Maybe we got carrots? I'm, I'm not entirely sure if I'm honest. Um, okay. Yep. Sure. Yeah, yep. Definitely. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I, I'll, I'll go explore. I'll, I'll come back each time that we, uh, bump into, like, a building or something. Alright, we've got a nice little island here with a, a crate and two barrels. This time we got some vines. Beautiful. I, I think they'll come in handy. Um, let's try and sort our inventory a little bit. I, I say sort. Just get things out of my hotbar so I can actually see when we get things. Um, so, let's see. We got an obsidian boat and a turtle egg. Okay. What is, uh, what is the point of this? Obsidian boat? We can turn it into obsidian. I, I guess that's cool. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? Let's uh, check out this barrel. Glass. Nice. Honestly, uh, genuinely, that, that'll save me some time. Let's go closer to the island. Um, I actually want to open this guy up and I guess we'll put all of the loot that we've gotten in there. Um, the vines can go in there. Uh, I don't know. We'll just dump some other stuff in. It doesn't matter too much. Um, oh, and now you can see this little chest because I've stored stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh, I'll keep going. Um, honestly, I, I don't need to cut too much because we're, the islands are right next to each other. Um, here we go. Pick up this, pick up that. What are these? Oak barn trapdoors. They look pretty cool. Uh, a saddle, some cast iron, some chiseled quartz, a music disc for chirp. Okay, sure. Um, and that's pretty much it. We might end up dumping some stuff because a lot of what we're getting is pretty useless. Like, uh, we don't need a lot of this stuff, I think. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, what do we have here? Is there a, yep, there's a crate of some sort. Here we go. What are we going to get? Um, cactus. Beautiful. Nice. I'm sure that'll come in handy. No? <laughs> I don't really know what to say. <laughs> we'll just keep going. Um, we got another white barrel. Here we go. Open this guy up. We got fins. Ooh. Is that part of it? It is. Oh my god. We're, we're actually getting close to being able to get the, the full set. We might just get it from uh, exploring. Perfect. Um, open this guy up. Another obsidian boat and a mole music disc. Okay. Um, still not sure. Like, we might end up dumping the obsidian boats. I don't... <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't see a point to them. <laughs> um, let's dig this up. What do we get? Uh, chainmail chest piece and a blue bed. Um, the chainmail is better than our leather, so we can swap that out. Um, is there anything worth dumping? This, some of this, some of that, uh, some of those... Uh, we'll hold them to the sand. Eh, no, screw it. The, scan the sand can go away. Whatever. Um, the wooden, whatever that was, can go. I don't really need it. I mean, maybe I need it, but I don't, it doesn't matter too much. Alrighty, this guy has a green barrel and a white barrel. The white barrel has in it pretty much like a full set of chainmail we've gotten now. Um, far? Okay, a far music disc. This guy gave us two more fridges. We've already got two fridges, but y you know, you, you can never have too many. Um, this island appears to have a light source on it. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, just a, just a torch. Nothing, nothing too crazy, I guess. Break open this. Um, chainmail boots. No, wait. No, I think we got a duplicate of something. Because it didn't... It's not in my... I don't know what we got. Hmm. 
Was it some cactus, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, uh, but we got something. We got something that we already had, so it doesn't really matter too much, does it? Um, the good thing about the boat is it doesn't drain your uh, hunger or anything, so you can just sort of keep going. Um, so here we go. Check out this green barrel. This guy has in it a post box and a light version of the fridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. This uh, gave me some stuff. There's scary lights down there. Um, now these guys. So they, can I like scrap them? I can. I can recycle these into bits of iron. I actually really like that. Um, so if we invest some iron, we can actually scrap all of these things to get more iron. And it's sort of like an investment, right? I, I actually do quite like that a lot. Um, let's dump that. <laughs> We're very much running out of room. I kind of want to keep the music discs for some reason. I guess just a little bit of a completionist sort of thing. Um, can I place these anywhere? No. Whatever. Torch can go. Um, I should have done. A, I should have done a better job emptying my inventory. That's. I think that's pretty, pretty clear. <laughs> oh no. All right. Another crate. This guy has in him some string and some leather pants. Uh, we actually don't have any pants on at the moment. So there we go. Leather pants on. Uh, the chainmail we might end up dumping. Oh, a black barrel. And that had sea pickles in it. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Should I just dump the... Ch oh, what? Can we... I bet you we can recycle it. Oh my god, we can recycle it. That's actually really good. Uh, a saddle? Is this useful for anything? Use on a mob to pick it up. That's pretty good. Um, can we craft a saddle? No. Okay. Um, pig iron? How difficult is pig iron? Blood, clay... I feel like the ability... Oh, uh, but we're, honestly... No, we have the mob imprisonment tool that can pick up mobs. Uh, we don't need a saddle. There we go. Too late. I've thrown it out. I've littered the ocean. <laughs> um, we'll check this one. I guess we'll start looping back. Honestly, should I be destroying these islands? You know, so that we know that we've already looted it? I mean, I guess if we see there's no barrels on it, that's pretty close enough. Uh, Butcher's Cleaver. Chance of dropping bones when killing animals. Oh, and it's, a, it's a trinket. Okay. And then we got a crate of strawberries, which can turn into strawberries, which we can pretty much just eat. These do one hunger per, so they're actually pretty good uh, in terms of food. Can these turn into seeds or something? No. We might be able to just plant them as they are, though. That might be an option. Um, uh, actually, no, strawberry seeds exist. We might be out of luck, because these don't turn into seeds. Hmm. Also, our inventory is pretty full. I don't know what to throw out. What do we throw out? Uh, honestly, the string we can throw out, we've got quite a lot. The iron nuggets, honestly? Yeah, we can throw out the iron nuggets, the cast iron nuggets. The hay bale I might keep. Tasty food. Bronze boots. Ah, who cares? Um, same with the leather tunic. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really... I, I wasn't sure about making that recycler, but it actually seems really cool at the moment in terms of getting a lot of iron. Um, all right, let's open this guy up. There we go. Wooden spikes for mini utilities. And I think there was something else, but once again, I didn't really see what it was. So, I don't know. It's a mystery. Uh, let's jump back in this. Which one do we want to go to? Over there, there appears to be a green barrel. Over there, ooh, a gold barrel. Beautiful. Do not mind if I do. Um, so, let's go here. Jump out. All right, gold barrel. What do we get? We got a debris scrap. Ooh. This is, uh, this can be combined if we get a bunch of it into our netherite scrap, which is pretty cool. Or we can make molten debris, which can be combined with, like, some cobalt or some gold and what to make netherite. Um, cool. Okay. Um, it's only one, uh, and I mean, I kind of don't even feel like it's worth keeping. We got cactus and a bunch of stuff we'd already gotten, uh, through that little drop then. Alright. Let's go over to this one. Um, let's just have a little scout around with our zoom. Is there any better barrels? I guess, honestly, this island looks pretty cool in terms of barrels. We've got um, a pulsating crate. Six ender pearls. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm on board. This guy gave us um, compressed experience pearl. Experience pearls are gotten when you kill a mob with experience harvester intent. This guy can be turned into experience pearls, which can be turned into magical eggs, experience opinion cores, or, can I just, like, right-click it? Yeah, I can just turn it into experience. Uh, that seems worth it. Let's turn these into strawberries. Alright, we have one inventory space left. Um, who is going to be our lucky island? Honestly, this one that we're heading to looks like it has a few things on it. 
Um, it looks like at least a green and a white barrel, but it looks like there's even a third one, which is kind of unfortunate because we have only one inv inventory space. We might be sacrificing something if we get something cool here. Um, so let's see. The crate gives us some food, it looked like, um, and some leather boots. We don't need to pick those up. Let's double check that they're leather boots. Yep, leather boots. All right, let's pick up our scrap again. Um, the white barrel. Oh, it dropped a few things. Um, let's drop this. What's this? Um, Magneto. Collect items and experience orbs in a range of 10 by 10 when activated. Activate by right-clicking the air with an empty hand or bind a key. Okay, we can learn this guy. Um, next up is horse armor, which we can probably use. I thought there was something in the water, though. Maybe we picked that up. Um, another thing is we can learn this cleaver. Like, we can actually make up some, some inventory space by doing that. So, there we go. Um, the iron horse armor, I imagine, once again... Yeah, we can crush it up into iron. So that, that, <laughs> Honestly, this has been a good iron gathering trip. Um, e even though we have, like, unlimited iron, it's nice to get the ingots right out the gate, you know? Um, this looks like a slime sling. Which... Doesn't seem too bad, apart from the fact that it seems pretty useless. We can turn it into slime balls, though. So once again, not that useless. Um, the chainmail, do I want to keep that? Hmm. What do we reckon? What do I? What do I sacrifice to the water gods? Do, 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 do. Honestly, this uh, the wooden spikes. Yeah, the wooden spikes. Goodbye. Okay, I will say that is a successful trip. Now, um, where do I need to go? Oh, I've also realised I've left the um. The war motion, and now we're in the lukewarm motion. Okay, and we can actually see some of the structures through the through the little mapping on the ground. Okay, um, I'm going to show this waypoint. Then we can, or we should be able to spin around and see it in a direction. I do not see it. <laughs> um, which way do we have to go though? Oh, I might have to turn on my little mini map. Oh wait, I think that's it over there. See in, on the right side of my screen. I think it's just not showing up, possibly because of shaders, but I believe this is the direction we have to go. So, um, that's some of the stuff we dropped before. Oh. What? What was that? Was that a piranha? Like... Um... Okay. I'm still a little scared of the water. I'm a little skeptical. I'll tell you that much. This appears to be a slime island. Which is incredibly important. Does this guy show up on the map? Oh, he does. And he looks beautiful, doesn't he? Okay. We've got a slime island here. So, we've got that if we need to. If we ever need some slime or some slime trees and stuff. Beautiful. Um, over there, there seems to be a structure. Is that on the map? Another one of those big towers. Okay. Um, we'll keep going. Oh, there's some really nice barrels here. But we don't really have the inventory for it. I really should have emptied before we went. White barrels. And yeah, there we go. We can see the beacon. Alright, I'll meet you guys back at the base. Alright, home sweet home. We have a bunch of loot that we can uh, chuck away. We have all of these... Oh, we actually got quite a few post, box, uh, post boxes that we can place down. These guys, I believe, are pretty much useless unless you're playing on a server, which honestly could be cool, setting up a server and setting up uh, post boxes. Once again, we're, we're getting there. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Um, let's let these guys down. But uh Oh, this one has a little painting on it. Nice, a little picture. Um, what else do we have? We have an obsidian boat. There it is. It looks all obsidian-y. Can I break it? Okay. But, oh, you know what? Lava. We can probably swim in the ocean. Uh, in, in the uh, in the nether, sorry. <laughs> we could probably swim in the ocean. I bet you it sinks as well, because, I mean... No way does it fall. L let's see. I'm, I'm curious now. What can we test? We can test here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. It actually sinks. Did you really think that would work? I like that. I like that. Um, so that was for placing obsidian boat on water. I like it. Okay. I'm, I'm on board. Um, Alright, what else do we have? What quest have we done then? Exploration. We got a pulsating crate. Did I... I've sorted my inventory a little bit. We've, we've got some space to pick up some rewards. <laughs> um, We got a sewage composter. 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 Um, let's place this guy here. He needs some power and stuff, so he's pretty useless to us, but I don't know. He can sit there. <laughs> We're very much just collecting junk. <laughs> um, What else have we done? We got this guy. Miscellaneous. We got the wooden spikes. Random reward. A blank slate from blood magic. Beautiful. Okay. Um, we don't need you, so you'll go away with the other stuff. Um, can we, by the way, can we smelt these in... No, we can't. I was going to say, like, in a uh, smeltery to get a bunch of stuff. We really need this, uh, this recycler. The advanced recycler? Don't know what it does. I don't know how it's different from it. Does it say in the quest book? 
Because I imagine these are in here somewhere. The trick is, I guess, we just have to find them. Um, I honestly can't find the uh, recycler. I've had a little look around. I'm sure I'm probably missing it. Um, the other possibility is, though, that it could be in here. And we just don't have it unlocked yet. Because, um, as we know, when we unlock things, you know, more quests show up. So it's possible we want to make some of this stuff. I might make us a glass jar. Um, because we got some of the glass. So, um, glass jar. Here we go. Just a normal glass jar. This is going to be glass panes and a button. Um, so let's grab the button. Yep. go. And then we need glass panes. Here we go. And we have ourselves a glass jar. That is that quest done. Um, it sadly didn't unlock anything else. But I guess we got a bucket. That's cool. Let's maybe, I don't know, place this guy down here. <laughs> Why not? Um, what was the other quest? The jar automation. Cast iron. Oh, it needs a lot of iron. I don't really feel like doing that, to be honest. Um, is there anything else we needed? Milk. We don't have a cow yet. Um, I reckon we're pretty much done in terms of, like, the questing for now. Um, so what do we want to do? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to think again. Uh, we can try the strawberries real quick. Let's see. Before I go and eat all these strawberries, can they be planted? Let's see. Wheat seeds? No. They cannot be planted. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat all the strawberries. All right. Um, we got... Oh, no. We only got six ender pills. I was going to say, we can make an ender lily. <laughs> Just for the thrill of it, I guess. Um... I, I still don't know. I still don't know. Obviously, I want to work towards getting um, the du, 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 the pump or some sort of pump. I'm thinking what we could do as well is try and quickly automate some of um, this stuff. So what I'm going to need is quite a bit more iron, if I'm honest. So we'll, I guess, try and get some of this processing. We'll need some heat as well. So let's chuck that in there. Um, what are we using? I guess we can use coal. I'm, I'm sure there's no issue in doing that. Um, what I want to do is make some pipes, some item pipes. And then we'll also make a pipe wrench. This will be sticks and flint. So I'll wait for this to process. I'll chuck in more. We'll grab the sticks and flint and make the wrench. Let's go do that real quick. Um, da -da 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 -da. Can we have sticks, please? Yes. Two sticks? Three sticks, possibly. Um, and then two flint, which is probably going to have to be gotten on it. We've already got it. Two flint. Beautiful. So, the wrench only uses two sticks. Um, and then the pipes. These are going to be three redstone, a bunch of cobblestone, and six iron. So, um, I don't know why I'm looking in here. I guess we'll grab the, the cobble out. Um, we, we have so much stuff that like some of them I don't even realize we have. Uh, what else do we have? Three redstone. And then we just need more iron. Another thing is I'd like to automate this guy. I think it's possible. It might be a little bit tricky, I guess. But I, I do have an idea. All right, I have six iron. Um, we'll sleep through tonight, I guess. It's, these night times really sneak up on you. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Um, yeah, but we're going to make these pipes. I was thinking we could do fluid pipes as well. That would allow us to... Um, what should we call it? Automatically, we'll put fluids into um, this guy. And then we can auto-output. So that's an option. Um, do we want to do that? Honestly, maybe. Maybe. Um... What do I want to do here? This guy full of... What's it? Full of gravel. Okay. Um, how exactly do I want to do this? I think what I want to do is I want to grab a chest. I want to make a chest out of some, some stuff. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Right? And I want to have a chest um, piping into this guy. I also don't really know if we do it from the top or the bottom. So we'll place a pipe there. Place a chest here. This guy is going to be an extracting one. And I should be able to put this here. And as you can see... It places them in. Beautiful. Um, from here, I think what I can do is run this pipe. If we quickly disconnect this, I can run this pipe back around to the chest here. We can disconnect that, and I can have it output like so. What I believe this will do is if I pour this, it should harden into iron, and it should automatically get output. Yes, beautiful. And then inside here, we get iron. That's pretty good. That That's honestly pretty good. This is pretty much... I mean, it's pretty much automated. There's obviously some more steps we have to do, but that's... I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, da, 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 da. Let's press R, click that in, boom. Um, the problem is... Well, there's a few problems. One is, at the moment, it only does iron. On top of that, we have to have an exact amount. Like, we can't output the nuggets like that. You know what I mean? And then also, this guy's not automated. 
what I could do is I could do a fluid pipe, which they're not too difficult to make um, if they exist. Here they go, fluid pipe. It's pretty much the same recipe, just buckets instead of uh, the, the droppers. That would work. Another option is a clock or a timer because a clock doesn't exist. That's quite a bit of redstone, quite a bit of gold. Probably not the option. I think we just do iron. I think that's... We could also... I mean, yeah, we, we just do iron. We do need some more redstone, believe it or not. Which means, what do we need to do for redstone? I think we need dust, right? Um, How are we going to do that reliably? I think what I could do... Hmm. Alright, I'll put a little bit of dust in. It's not a lot. I'm hoping... We, we don't need too much redstone. We just we just need enough. You know what I mean? Um, I'm hoping we get that. I'm a little bit doubtful, if I'm honest. Um, I think it, it's a little bit difficult in my mind to figure out how I could reliably um, turn one auto hammer into like a dust hammer. It, it's just a bit difficult um, through through all like the, the thinking I'm doing. I think we would need multiple hammers to, to achieve that uh, reliably. Um... So yeah, we're, we're, we're currently just waiting. I would love to automate this via the um, extra, what do you call it? Um, fluid pipes? I We could try these um, cast iron pipes, but I think the way they work is... Um, I think we've probably got them in the boat as well. I think they only work with jars. That's that's what my guess is at the moment. Oh, we do not want to drown. Um, so we'll try that. We'll, 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 we'll try this because we might as well. Um, I'm going to break this guy here. Like I say, cast iron pipe and I don't know how to like tell it to output that's that, that's my problem I don't I don't really know how that works um we've also done another quest we're doing a lot of quests here what it was the quest item pipes random reward lapis lazuli axe <laughs> sure why not um let's go back to the do, 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 the iron pipes connects chests and jars yeah um note tubes only connect to the top of jars so I don't think that helps us I don't I don't think this works. Um, so sadly, I think we do need to wait for our um, redstone, which is not done. And we're all out of dust. Oh my god. That means I have to do some manual um, magic. Yeah, I've got to do some uh, some hammering myself, which is a little bit annoying. By the way, guys, um, there's been quite a few storms and whatnot in uh, my area. So if there's not a video one day, um, chances are uh, my internet or my power might even have gone out. So... um. Just, just keep that in mind if there's like a missing upload or two, especially in these coming weeks and whatnot. Um, uh, we, we should be fine though, um, for the most part. <laughs> Our power usually doesn't go out, um, but if it does, you know, that's I guess my my preemptive warning. Okay, we're doing dust again. Beautiful. What do we have in terms of diamonds? We do actually have enough for a cluster, um, or whatever it's called. A, yeah, cluster. This guy can be turned into a diamond in a temperate in a tempered uh, glass jar. We could crush it for two. Are there any other little loopholes we could do? We could squeeze it. We could enrich it. Uh, put it in a foundry to get a little bit more. We could melt it. for. In a smeltery, you'd get two gems. In a melter, you get one gem and three nuggets. Okay. So if we set up a smeltery, it would actually be worth it. Do we set up a smeltery? Um... Not sure. <laughs> not, not sure. We'd probably need quite a little bit of a... Steered stone still. We've got quite a bit of steered brick. We could set up a basin and do that. Maybe. Um, oh, we actually do have enough chunks, though. Right, one even dropped in my inventory. Okay, wait, wait. We're, we're, we're back in business. Uh, chunk. Chuck this in here. Redstone, please. Start it. Only takes a few seconds. That will get us the redstone we need. Um, we obviously have the iron. Um, I don't have it on me, so I should probably grab that. We've got the six redstone on us. Beautiful. Six iron. Uh, two buckets. One bucket. Um... <laughs> Two buckets. Where do you, do you reckon? We didn't use the bucket, right? So it's probably in here. Let's open this guy up. Yep. Buckets. I'll bring them all with me. Why not? A little bit of lag there. Sorry. Um, we'll jump up here. What was I doing? Crafting. Yes. Craft and fluid pipe. Here we go. Fluid pipe. Bam. Fluid pipes. Beautiful. Let's grab our wrench. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. Right. I'm going to place a pipe down here and do that. And look, this is automated. 
we can watch this and it will process and it will fill and it will fill and this guy will fill and it'll process and it'll blah 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 blah. It works. It works. Um, there is another option, another thing we can do, and we might do. I'm gonna grab seven of these seared bricks. I'm gonna go ahead and craft them into another table, right? This table is going to be placed um eh, mm, mm. Probably back here. So what I might do is just spin this around like that, break this pipe, and place the casting table there, right? Um, we can go ahead and disconnect this, disconnect that, disconnect this. You can pick that up and put that away. Uh, what I want to do now is go ahead and grab this nugget cast. We're going to place that there. I'm going to run this guy. Not yet. I'm going to place this here. I'm going to disconnect that. Did that work? Eh, almost. Um, we're going to have this guy extract. So that should have a nugget in there. Yep, beautiful. That's that's fine. Um, that might have actually messed things up. I might put the nugget back in here to get processed um, eventually. Uh, but essentially what we can do is if I get a pipe upgrade, I'm not sure as well if it's the first pipe upgrade or the second or the third, but one of these pipe upgrades allows us... Um, let's actually look in here. This will tell us. Um, to get access to this option, which can set uh, nearest first, furthest first, that sort of thing. Um, oh, well, I guess that doesn't really help, does it? I, I was going to say, like, if this ever doesn't work, fill up this one, but that doesn't really work either, does it? Um, I don't really know what to do. I don't really know how to loophole this and, like, make it work. Um, yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> oh, well. All right, we've done another quest as well, apparently. The fluid pipes, random reward. Um, an IF generator, what did we get? A slimy mycelial generator. This, honestly, doesn't actually sound too bad because we have slime, right? Like, we have a slime island that we have access to. The only problem is, what kind of liquid does this guy need? Is it water? Because, believe it or not, that is a, that is difficult. We don't have water. It's milk. We, we don't really have milk either. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we tried. Um, what do we have now? We have some more gold. I could do, if we wanted, another, um, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Another ingot cast, so we could do, like, all of them at once. That could work. Hmm. Not really sure. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, that's 51 iron. And, and counting. So, we have iron. Honestly, uh, mm, eh, Let's do the recycler. <laughs> I wasn't. I part of me was like, you should save it for another video. But I mean, I mean, what? Why not? You know, we 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 do it now. We can just make a quick one. No, no one will be upset. Stone cutter. This guy needs stone. Do we have any smooth stone? Oh, we actually do. Oh, that is good. Stone cutter. There we go. And we have a recycler. What does the advanced one cost? Gold, redstone, end rods. That's not happening. Um, but here's our item recycler. We can slap this guy down. He honestly looks pretty cool. Item recycler, start recycling. So, I can, for instance, grab all of these different, you know, chainmail armors we have and all that kind of stuff. Um, some here as well. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Open this guy up. Chuck in all the different chainmails and iron stuff. I can click start recycling. And it's begun. There's some crazy particles spitting out of this guy. All sorts of them. And look at that. I mean, it's just making us iron. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. That's honestly pretty good if you ask me. Um, we probably do like most things, can't we? No, we can't do lapis. <laughs> we can do everything but that. Um, the slime sling I was going to do for slime balls, but I mean, we've got a slime island, so that's probably not even worth doing. Um, was there anything else? Probably. Do I remember what the other things were? No. No, I don't. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I had this tank the whole time. I didn't have to craft this one. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's fine. Um, all right. Are we done? Are we Are we happy? Are we finished? For this episode? <laughs> I think we are. I think next episode, we might possibly... Th there's a few options. We could go exploring in that direction. As you can see, there's quite a lot of barrels that we can get. So that's obviously something we want to do. Because we could finish this um, diving suit. And then, in combination with our water breathing... The entire, like, underwater area becomes searchable, which is awesome. Um, I, I do want to do that. Uh, another thing is I want to set up a smeltery at some point. Because this will allow us to double, like, our diamonds. And, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Um, another thing we should consider as well is storage. 
This guy's going to fill up. Another thing is water. Oh, we probably have enough iron to actually do um what we wanted to do, which was um the fluid pump from Immersive Engineering. If you guys know of a better fluid system, a better fluid pipe or pump or something, let me know. I also want to try this. See, it doesn't automatically connect to the water. Damn. Um, hmm. Let me know if you have an idea of how we can get water. Yeah. I, I feel like there's something. I'm, I, I just can't figure out what it is. I, I mean, I also feel as though it's intentionally been made in a way that it, you can't just have infinite water that easily. You have to actually try and make something. But um, you guys let me know. You guys let me know if I'm missing something. Um, like, even, even if there's a machine that might automatically pick up the water, I know, obviously, hmm, this water condensator needs the plastic. That's really annoying. Because the plastic is, like, it's such a mission to get. Ugh. Um... There's another option. I think we can actually pump water using an RF tools builder. Believe it or not. I think it works. Because there's a clearing pump. And then there's a pump. So I think if we were to make this guy. Which, it's a little bit of iron. And some paper. and uh, Might be a bit tricky to get. But I think it's a little bit easier than some of the alternatives. We could make this guy. That I think it's doable. And the builder itself wasn't too tricky. One ender pill. Some of this stuff. I think that might be the way to do it. And then we can just like start pumping out of the ocean. <laughs> it might make a mess, but uh, hey, it'll get us started. It'll be, you know, automation. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. The other option is, is there some sort of clicker? Cl um, hashtag click. Um, do, 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 do. Doesn't really look... Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, refined storage I know has a destructor. I think this guy could pick up water. I think, obviously, it's a little bit tricky to get. Like, we'd have to, you know, get into um, refined storage to use it. But it but possibly doable? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Once again, if you guys have a better idea, um, do let me know. Um, yeah. I, I think that's it. I, I'm happy. We've automated this guy. We set up some recycling so we can actually get some iron from our um, trips and whatnot. I could even bring that with me. And then that way we'll actually be like... Um, you know, we, we won't fill up our inventory with all the junk. We'll be able to recycle it as we go. And that, and that sounds pretty cool to me. Um, we've also got a little bit of a farm happening. Probably need to make this bigger as well. And is there some sort of farmer we could get? Honestly, it doesn't really look like it. Um, harvester? Harvester? Ah, there's botany pots. And you can actually make a hopper botany pot with just a hopper and a botany pot. That's actually extremely useful. It's not. It hasn't been, uh, you know, made difficult. This might be the way to go. We could get infinite food from this. Hmm. Okay. Does this do trees? It looks like it does trees as well. That's infinite uh, fuel for our uh, smelteries and stuff. I Yeah, I'm on board. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you're enjoying the uh, series. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I think that's it. Thank you, thank you to those of you who support me financially, whether it's through donation links or the channel membership. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> thank you guys. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I will see you guys in the next one. Um, goodbye.